Who's excited that Silverina's coming back? This guy. Hey, this is Fish from Palatown PvP, and we are going to take a real quick look through the basics of Luna Cup, which is Silverina's opening cup for Season 4. The allowed types are Dark, Ghost, Bug, Grass, and Electric, and there are some just species-specific bands as well as no shadows. You can see up the top of the rankings there, Mandibuzz is number one, which is, I mean, we all know what it can do. It is bulky, it is versatile, and especially in this meta, that flying typing does real well at covering the normal dark type weaknesses. But if you look a little further down, at number 10 here, I think Obstagoon is another dark type that I think will get a little better use than Mandibuzz. Um, just because of a lot of these other matchups that are happening. And the real annoying thing with Mandibuzz versus Obstagoon, they're both going to see a lot of play, and it takes different Pokemon to counter both of those Mons. So if you are looking at Mandibuzz, you want to counter that with Electric types or Rock types. So Alolan Graveler here, that's going to be a very popular Pokemon. Magnezone probably not as popular but it's a pokemon that can very easily beat uh mandibuzz uh if you want to beat obstagoon you need bug types or counter users so crustle is one that can beat obstagoon foratress any of your steel bugs so a scavalier uh trash wormadam there are a couple of pokemon that can beat both mandibuzz and obstagoon one is Crustle up here with that Smackdown, Rock Slide, and X Scissor. Another one is Galvantula. I think Galvantula is going to be pretty big in this cup. Uh, it can beat both of those quite easily. It has a lot of very good neutral coverage. Uh, the big problem with Galvantula is if we go back up here, Alolan Graveler. I think there's going to be a big triangle of Rock, Paper, Scissors between the Dark type. Alolan Graveler and Galvantula. I, th I think there'll be a lot of interplay there. Um, some Pokemon that can beat all three of those. Uh, Roserade is a big one. Um, it's got that Weather Ball that can like one shot your Steel Bugs. So, you know, if Scavalier gets hit by one Weather Ball from Roserade, it's gone. <laughs> um, same with Foratress. Um, PV Poke recommends Poison Jab. Poison Jab gets you more raw wins as a Roserade, but I prefer Bullet Seed here because what that does is um, gets to those Weather Balls and Leaf Storms so fast that it pressures your opponent into burning those shields early. That allows you to uh, open the rest of their team up to sweep them uh, with the rest of your team. So I think Bullet Seed has better synergy with the rest of your team, depending on what you've got, obviously. Um, another option to look at is your Dark Poisons, which tend to whoops, tend to make an appearance every time they're eligible. And the big two, of course, are Skuntank and Alolan Muck. My personal preference is Alolan Muck uh, because uh, the s with Snarl, because it's a fantastic safe swap. Um, it gets uh, a lot more good meta relevant wins that Skuntank can't get. Um, however, Skuntank does have Flamethrower, which, as we discussed, is going to be the fire damage is going to be really useful uh, in in one shotting a uh, few very relevant meta Pokemon. If you want to get real spicy, if you want to just throw your opponent for a loop, Charmers. Uh, Raichu is a Pokemon that can beat Mandibuzz and Obstagoon with, with the power of Charm and doesn't lose quite as hard to a Lolan Graveler. It has play against that. Uh, Lilligant is another option too, which I believe can actually beat a Lolan Graveler. So you can consider those options too. I know there's so, so much more that we can cover in this cup. But we've only got five minutes, so this is what we get to start us off. You can do some more research yourself. Come join us in the Pallet Town PvP Discord server. There's a link in the description. You can, uh, you know, practice battling with everyone and, and discuss that a little more. And good luck in Luna Cup.